three European politicians. They speak different languages, but they're all singing the same tune. L'Union Européenne, c'est une véritable épouvante. A mai rendetlen Európa képtelen megoldásokat találni ezekre a kihívásokra. Hogy andiamo in Europa per ribaltarla questa Europa. And that's weird, because one belief that unites these nationalist, populist European leaders is that the European Union should be less united. Since the Euro crisis of 2009 and the migrant crisis of 2015, these right-wing populist movements have grown in strength and in number. Europa már most invázió alatt áll. 10 és 10 milliók indulnak meg Európába, Afrikából és a közel-keletről. His campaign against Muslim refugees won his party two-thirds of the seats in Hungary's general election in 2018. Poland's ruling Law and Justice Party doesn't sound all that different. Co się dzieje we Francji? Nieustanna awantura, też wprowadzany szariat. Law and Justice won an outright majority in 2015. Every European country has its own version. Tomio Okamura is a Czech nationalist politician, born in Japan, who wants a zero tolerance policy on immigration. Nemůžeme si dovolit zaplavit naše země migranty z nepřátelských a nekompatibilních kultur. It's not clear what this means, but it plays into European fears of what they call an invasion. In other words, immigration. I would stop immigration of non-Western immigrants immediately. They all accuse Brussels of behaving like a dictatorship. Jsme pod totálním diktátem Bruselu a v podstatě jsme ztratili jakoukoliv samostatnost. Těch je celá řada. Which is ironic, given that they're all running in democratic elections for the EU Parliament. They often speak of a supposed plot by mainstream leaders like Angela Merkel to replace Europeans with lower-paid migrants. Sono convinto che l'immigrazione sia un progetto studiato e finanziato per sostituire etnicamente i popoli europei con nuovi schiavi da pagare a 3 euro all'ora per il loro lavoro. And they tend not to like feminism or gay rights. They may say some provocative or even hateful things, but their language and ideas are consistent all across Europe, and they are clearly effective. Pollsters predict that these Eurosceptic parties will see a significant rise in votes in the European election. Ironically, it's the Eurosceptic parties that seem to be doing the best job building pan-European politics. The question is whether the parties that believe in a stronger Europe can do the same thing.